Liars and Believers presents this classical moment with The Bear by Anton Chekhov, with Glenn Moore, Rachel Weiss, and Jesse Garlick. Sound design by me, Jay Mobley, and directed by Jason Slavik. And now, The Bear. It isn't right, madam. You're just destroying yourself. The, the maid, the cook, have, have gone off fruit picking. Every living being is rejoicing. Even the cat understands how to enjoy himself and walks about in the yard catching midges. Only you sit in this room all day as if it was a convent and don't take any pleasure. Yes, really. I reckon it's a whole year that you haven't left the house. I shall never go out. Why should I? My life is already at an end. He is in his grave, and I have buried myself between four walls. We are both dead. Oh, well, there you are. Oh. Nikolai Mikhailovich is dead. Well, oh. it's the will of God, and may his soul rest in peace. <laughs> You've mourned him. And quite right. But you can't go on weeping and wearing mourning forever. My old woman died, too, when her time came. Oh. Well, I grieved over her. I wept for a month, and that's fair enough for her. But if I have to go on weeping for a whole age, well, the old woman isn't worth it. Oh. There's a regiment quartered at Riblyov. And the officers are such beauties. You can never gaze your fill at them. Ah, ah, and every Friday night there's a ball at the camp. And every day the soldiers' band plays. Emily, you're young and beautiful with roses in your cheek. If only, if only you took a little pleasure. Beauty won't last so long, you know. I must ask you never to talk to me about it. You know that when Nikolai Mihailovich died, life lost all its meaning for me. I vowed never to the end of my days to cease to wear mourning or to see the light, you hear? Let his ghost see how well I love him. No. Who is that? Tell them I receive nobody. Uh, yes, madam. You will see, Nicholas, how I can love and forgive. My love will die out with me only when this poor heart will cease to beat. And aren't you ashamed? I am a good and virtuous little wife. I've locked myself in and will be true to you till the grave. And you, aren't you ashamed, you bad child? You deceived me, had roused with me, left me alone for weeks on end. Uh, madam, somebody is asking for you. He wants to see you. But didn't you tell him that since the death of my husband, I've stopped receiving? Uh, I, I did, uh, but he wouldn't even listen. Says that it's a very pressing affair. I do not receive. I told him so, but but the, 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 the devil curses and pushes himself right in. Oh, he's in the dining room now. Oh. Very well. Ask him in. What manners? How these people annoy me. What does he want of me? Why should he disturb my peace? No, I see that I shall have to go into a convent after all. Yes, into a convent. You fool. You're too fond of talking, ass. Madam, I have the honor to present myself. I am Gregory Stepanovich Smirnov, landowner and retired lieutenant of the artillery. I am compelled to disturb you on a very pressing affair. What do you want? Your late husband, with whom I had the honor of being acquainted, died in my debt for 1,200 rubles. Mm -hmm. As I've got to pay the interest on a mortgage tomorrow, I've come to ask you, madam, to pay me the money today. 1,200? If Nikolai Mihailovich died in debt to you, then I shall surely pay you. 
but you must excuse me today, as I haven't any spare cash. The day after tomorrow, my steward will be back from town, and I'll give him instruction to settle your account. But at the moment, I cannot do as you wish. Moreover, it's exactly seven months today since the death of my husband, and I'm in a state of mind which absolutely prevents me from giving money matters my attention. <laughs> And I'm in a state of mind, which, if I don't pay the interest due tomorrow, will force me to make a graceful exit from this life feet first. They'll take my estate. You'll have your money the day after tomorrow. I don't want the money the day after tomorrow. I want it today. You must excuse me. I can't pay you. And I can't wait until tomorrow. Well, what can I do if I haven't the money now? You mean to say you can't pay me? I can't. Hmm. Is that the last word you've got to say? Yes, the last word. The last word. Absolutely, your last. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'll make a note of it. And then people want me to keep calm? I met a woman on the road, and she asks me, Why are you always so angry, Gregory Stepanovich? But how on earth am I not to get angry? I want the money desperately. I rode out yesterday, early in the morning, and called on all my debtors, and not a single one of them paid up. At last, I get here, 70 verse from home, and hope to get something, and I am received by you with a state of mind. Oh. How shouldn't I get angry? I thought I distinctly said my steward will pay you when he returns from town. I didn't come to your steward, but to you. What the devil, excuse my saying so, have I to do with your steward? Excuse me, sir. I am not accustomed to listen to such expression. Or such a tone of voice. I want to hear no more. Well, there. A state of mind. Husband died seven months ago. <laughs> must I pay the interest or mustn't I? I ask you, must I pay or must I not? Suppose your husband is dead and you've got a state of mind and nonsense of that sort and your steward's gone away somewhere. Devil take him. What do you want me to do? Do you think I can fly away from my creditors in a balloon or whatnot? Do you expect me to go and run my head into a brick wall? I go to Grustev, and he isn't at home. Yerushevich has hidden himself. I had a violent row with Karutsin and nearly threw him out of the window. Mazuga has something the matter with his bowels, and this woman has a state of mind? Not one of the swine wants to pay. Just because... I'm too gentle with them, because I'm a rag, just weak wax in their hands. Well, just you wait. You'll find out what I'm like. I shall jolly well stay here until she pays. Mm. Ooh, how angry I am today, how angry I am. All my insides are quivering with anger and I can't even breathe. Waiter! Oh, uh, oh, uh, you. Uh, uh, what is it? Get me some water or vodka. What a way to reason. A man is in desperate need of his money and she won't pay it because, you see, she's not disposed to attend to money matters. That's real silly feminine logic. That's why I never did like and don't like now to have to talk to women. I'd rather sit on a barrel of gunpowder than talk to a woman. Ugh. I feel quite chilly, and it's all on account of that little piece of fluff. I can't even see one of those poetic creatures from a distance without breaking out into a cold sweat out of sheer anger. I can't Look at them! Uh, uh, madam is ill and will see nobody. Get out! Uh, Ill will uh, see nobody. No, it's all right. You don't see me. I'm going to stay and we'll sit here till you give me the money. You can be ill for a week if you like, and I'll stay here for a week. If you're ill for a year, I'll stay for a year. I am going to get my own, my dear. Waiter! Uh, uh, what is it? A glass of vodka. Uh, oh, uh, I must say, I look well. Dust all over, boots dirty, unwashed, unkempt straw on my waistcoat. What? Uh, 
The devil's come to say... Whom are you talking to? Shut up! Sir, in my solitude, I have grown unaccustomed to the masculine voice, and I can't stand shouting. I must ask you not to disturb my peace. Pay me the money, and I'll go. I told you perfectly plainly. I haven't any money to spare. Wait until the day after tomorrow. And I told you perfectly plainly. I don't want the money the day after tomorrow, but today. If you don't want to pay me today, I'll have to hang myself tomorrow. But what can I do if I haven't got the money? You're so strange. Then you won't pay me now, huh? I can't. In that case... I stay here and shall wait until I get it. I will stay here all the time. I ask you, have I got to pay the interest tomorrow or haven't I? <sighs> or do you think I'm doing this for a joke? Please don't shout. This isn't a stable. I wasn't asking you about a stable, but whether I'd get my interest to pay tomorrow or not. You don't know how to behave before women. No, I do know how to behave before women. No, you don't. You are a rude, ill-bred man. Decent people don't talk to women like that. How do you want me to talk to you? In French? Or what? Madame, je vous prie. Oh. How happy I am that you don't pay me. Ah, pardon, I have disturbed you. Oh. Such lovely weather today. And how well you look in mourning. That's silly and rude. Silly and rude? I don't know how to behave before women. Ha. Madame, in my time, I've seen more women than you've seen sparrows. <laughs> Three times, I've fought duels on account of women. I've refused. Twelve women and nine women have refused me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there was a time when I played the fool, scented myself, used honeyed words, wore jewelry, made beautiful bows. I used to love, mm. to suffer, to sigh at the moon, to get sour, to thaw, to freeze. I used to love passionately, madly, every blessed way. Devil, take me. But present company always accepted all women, great or little, are insincere, crooked backbiters, envious liars to the marrow of their bone, <laughs> vain, trivial, merciless, unreasonable, and as far as this is concerned, oh! why, confound it, hang me on that nail, feet upwards if you like, but have you met a woman who can love anybody except a lapdog? <sighs> when she's in love, can she do anything but snivel and sobber? While a man is suffering and making sacrifices, all her love expresses itself in playing about with her scarf and trying to hook him more firmly by the nose. Tell me truthfully, have you ever seen a woman who was sincere, faithful, and constant? You haven't. Only freaks and old women are faithful and constant. Well then, according to you, who is faithful and constant in love? Is it the man? Mm -hmm, yes, the man. Ha! The man! Men are faithful and constant in love. What an idea. Mm -hmm. Well, since we are talking about it, I'll tell you that of all the men I knew and know, the best was my late husband. I loved him passionately with all my being, as only a young and imaginative young woman can love. <laughs> I gave him my youth, my happiness, my life, my fortune! Hmm. I breathed in him. I worshipped him as if I were a heathen. Huh. And, and what then? This best of men shamelessly deceived me at every step. And after his death, I found in his desk a whole drawer full of love letters. And when he was alive, it's an awful thing to remember. He used to leave me alone for weeks at a time and make love to other women and betray me before my very eyes. He wasted my money and made fun of my feelings. And in spite of all that, I loved him and was true to him. And not only that, but now that he is dead, I am still true and constant to his memory. I have shut myself forever within these four walls, and I will wear these weeds to the very end. Weeds! As if I don't know why you wear black and bury yourself between four walls. It's so mysterious, so 
poetic. When some junker goes past your window, he'll think, there lives the mysterious lady who, for the love of her husband, buried herself between four walls. <laughs> well, we know these gates. What? How dare you say all that to me? You may have buried yourself alive, but you haven't forgot how to powder your face. How dare you speak to me like that? Oh, please don't shout. I'm not your steward. You must allow me to call things by their real names. I'm not a woman. And I'm used to saying what I think straight out. Don't you shout either. I'm not shouting, it's you. Please leave me alone. Pay me my money and I'll go. I shan't give you any oh, money. Oh no, you will. I shan't give you a farthing just to spite you. You leave me alone. I have not the pleasure of being either your husband or your fiance, so please don't make scenes. Oh. I don't like it. So you sit down. I do! I ask you to go away. Give me my money. Oh, how I angry I am. I to talk to anyone. How scoundrels. angry I am. Get off uh. this! Aren't you going? No! 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 Very well, then. Luca, show this gent uh. out. Uh. <laughs> Would you mind going out, sir? As you're asked to? Shut up! You needn't! Who are you talking to? Oh. I'll chop you into pieces! Oh. Get out of this oh. now! Oh. Can't you be more oh. polite? You're oh. a what people? What? A coarse bear! Oh. A bourbon! What a did you say? I, I said oh. you are a bear! I, I can't breathe! A monster! Oh. May I ask what right you oh. have to insult oh. me? And suppose I am insulting you? Oh. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Oh. And do you think that just because you're a poetic creature, oh. you can insult me with impunity? Oh. Huh? We'll fight it out! Pistols! Do you think I'm afraid of you just because you have large fists Ooh. and a bull's throat? <gasps> and you bear! We'll fight it out. Oh, I'm not going to be insulted by anyone. Bear. I don't care if you are a woman. Bear. One of the softer sex, indeed. Bear. What is it's about time we got rid of the what? prejudice that only men need to pay for their insults. Oh. Devil take it. If you want equality of rights, you can have it. We're going to fight it out. With pistols? Very well. Oh, this very minute. This very minute. Oh, my husband had some pistols. Oh, I'll bring them here. Oh, what pleasure it will give me to put a bullet into your thick skull. Oh, Devil take oh, you. Oh, I'll bring her down like a chicken. Oh, I'm not a little boy or sentimental oh, puppy. I don't care about this soft. Sex. Oh, gracious little fathers, have pity on a poor old man and go away! If she fights, well, that's equality of rights, <gasps> emancipation and all that. Here, the sexes are equal. I'll shoot her on principle. <laughs> but what a woman! <laughs> Devil take you, I'll put a bullet in your thick head, huh? <laughs> now she ready. How her cheeks show she accepted my challenge. My word, it's the first time in my life that I've seen... She is a woman. That's the sort I can understand. A, a real woman. Not a sour-faced jelly bag. But fire. Gunpowder, a rocket. <laughs> I'm even sorry to have to kill her. Dear sir. I absolutely like her. Absolutely. Even though her cheeks are dimpled, I like her. I'm almost ready to let the death go. I'm not angry any longer. Wonderful woman. Here are the pistols. But before we fight, you must show me how to fire. I've never held a pistol in my hand before. You must hold the revolver like this. Her eyes. Her eyes, what an inspiring woman. Like this? Yes, like this. Then you cock the trigger. 
and take aim like this. Oh. Put, put your head back oh. a little. Oh. Mm. Hold your arm out properly like mm -hmm. that. Oh. Then you press oh. this thing with your finger. Oh. And that's all. Oh. The great thing is to keep cool and aim steady. Try not to jerk oh. your arm. Oh. Very well. It's inconvenient to shoot in a room. Let's go into the garden. Come along then. But I warn you, oh. I'm going to fire in the air. That's the last straw. Why? Oh. Because, because it's my affair. Are you afraid? Yes? Oh. No, sir. You don't get out of it. Are you afraid? Yes, I am afraid. You lie. Why won't you fight? Because, because, you, because I like you! <laughs> he likes me! <laughs> he dares to say he likes me! That's the way! Listen! Are you still mad at me? The fact is, you see, it's like this, so to speak. Well, is it my fault that I like you? The devil, take it! I'm smashing up your furniture! I like you! Do you understand? I almost love you! Get away from me! I hate you! God, what a woman! I've never in my life seen one like her. I'm lost, done for. Fallen into a mousetrap like, like a mouse! Stand back, or I'll fire. Fire, then. You can't understand what happiness it would be to die before those beautiful eyes. To be shot by a revolver held in that little velvet hand. <gasps> Decide now! I am a landowner of respectable character. I have an income of 10,000 a year. I can put a bullet through a coin tossed into the air as it comes down. I own some fine horses. Will you be my wife? <laughs> Let's fight! Let's get out! I'm mad! You understand nothing! Waiter! Water! Let's go out and fight! I love you! I love you as I've never loved before. I've refused 12 women and I'd have refused me, but I never loved one of them as I love you. Weak, I'm waxing, melted. I'm on my knees like a fool. Yes or no? You don't want me? Very well. Stop! Well? Nothing, go away. No, stop. No. Go away, go away, I hate you. Uh, oh no, don't call me. Uh, oh, if you knew how angry I am, uh, how angry I am. My fingers have swollen because of this. What are you waiting for? Get out. Goodbye. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, go away. Where are you going? Uh, stop, uh, go, go away. Uh, oh, how I am. How angry I am with myself. Don't come near me. I love you. Oh, I want to me. fall in love with you for oh. tomorrow. I've got to pay the interest and begin moving. And here you. Oh. And I shall never forgive Get myself away for this. From me. Take your hands away. Oh. I hate you. Oh. Let's go. Oh. 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 Oh.